We all go through things in life and struggles are not fun. But I guess the struggles kind of set you in this mind of a, of a level of suffering. And when we suffer, we create. We have the urge to create and we have the urge to heal some things. So during my, in my worst time of uh, struggling, I had the idea that, uh, that the something needs to be done, that I need to record it. And I started doing, you know, the movement, I started contacting people, and I decided to record an album. And somehow I could give something to the world that through my worst moment, I did have that uh, sensation of, of love in my heart. It was really the hope. The first thing I thought when I heard her, this person has to be famous. I've been around singing my whole life and it just hit me so powerful. It's not that her voice is uber powerful or her range is extraordinary. It's who she is that is extraordinary. And to be able to convey that in a song with absolute perfection, no effort whatsoever, I said, she's got to be famous. And she's not famous in that sense. She's famous here in our community for sure. So I thought, it would be so beautiful to have the whole world to be able to taste of what we get to taste of here locally. First of all, she's a soul singer. I haven't heard her sing one note that she didn't feel. And the other thing that caught me right away was the crystal little stars coming out of her. She's got a gift. Then, fortunately, we became friends. She's a fantastic human being. She always talk about, well, maybe one day, maybe, and, I'm, and I'm more aggressive. No? It's like, well, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Don't wait until one day. And I told her, the world needs to hear you. They need to experience your, the beauty of your voice. It's been a long time coming. Like, we've been trying to get her to do it for like years. It was Joseph who like finally kind of pushed her to, you know, like, make the choice to start doing it. Like she also talks a lot about how she wanted to do something for like the Latin community. Yeah, that too. Like she's her um, show her culture through Yeah. The whole purpose of this album and the C D and the project in general was for her to finally kind of devote everything to what she loves to do. I just kind of conveyed to Lorena that we're not getting any younger. We've um We've both played music. She has sung and performed for 25 years, and this needs to happen. One day we met for breakfast here, and I said, "You have, if you have time, I would really love to show you the studio, and I want you to meet my friend Alan Sanderson." And we walked in, and that was it. It was the beginning of her recording her beautiful music. I hadn't met Lorena uh, until she walked in the studio, but I'd seen her singing at this small bar in, a, in a, an old hotel in downtown called the Westgate. There's a small, like, it's called the Plaza Bar. And then every Monday night they have all these fantastic singers. It's like one of the best kept secrets in town. So when she walked in, I was like, oh, okay, I think I remember you. I didn't say anything. So I knew that whatever we were going to get in here was going to be a treat. In a period of three years, Lorena contacted me and me dijo que quería hacer un album de boleros. Y ahí fue que yo dije, es, eso es, es ideal, porque a mí siempre me había gustado la idea de hacer un álbum de bolero, y se, ya que crecí con eso. Entonces, ya que empecé a trabajar en el, en, el, en el álbum, escogí un grupo de canciones y se las envié a ella para que analizara y viera a ver qué, qué podíamos hacer. Ella las escuchó y me llamó de nuevo y me dice, esas son exactamente las mismas canciones que yo andaba, que yo andaba pensando. We've been planning to do this album for almost 20 years. Not like it is right now, because the album right now is mainly uh, boleros, to the old classic style, with some you know, jazz and, and contemporary uh, arrangement. And we came out with this beautiful, beautiful album called Hoy. La canción Hoy es clave en el álbum porque el compositor es la persona que nos conectó a Lorena y yo. Y Juan Morones es un, un compositor increíble que yo siempre respeté. Entonces cuando me llegó la canción hoy, yo dije, no, esta canción definitivamente es el símbolo del álbum porque es la puerta abierta para que la gente entre y escuche el resto del álbum y o sea, entre al, al, al mundo de, de lo que es Lorena. I was born in Santiago, Chile, and uh, that 
really marked my whole persona because uh, three years later the uh, coup d'etat came and took, uh, took over the government and I was three, just three years old. So since then uh, the story goes back and forth and that shaped my personality in a, in a really defined way. And um, especially in music and art and communication, I have my way to see things. That definitely made my mind totally flipped and changed to be a more conscious singer. I would never sing anything that didn't really communicate something that was a social concept. For me, in general, the artist is much more effective when it comes the folklore. Because the folklore te da the bases. No la música clásica, no esto, no lo otro, no, el folclore, porque el folclore viene del pueblo. Y el pueblo es el que te dice las cosas en tu cara, como deben de ser. Por eso yo digo que cuando yo escuché a la voz de ella, yo dije, es, es una mina de oro. Esto es increíble porque viene del folclore. I just love the sound of her voice. It just means, you know, it, 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 it's so musical and she gets right to the heart of the matter, you know, so, and, and, and just sings beautifully. That is the magic of Lorena's voice. She has that, that power to, with the listeners, they, they reach that point of beauty within themselves. And I've witnessed it many, many times where people just walk away. You look at their faces and they're just in awe. No matter what type of song she sang, whether it was Besame Mucho or a song from her country, she sounded different than anyone else I had ever heard. There was a soulfulness about what she did, a innocence, a purity that everybody could pick up on right away. And it, it's just so intoxicating that it just makes you love her without ever even knowing her. I'm really proud of her. She's finally owning up to her talent. I've always thought she's, she's just so talented and she sings beautifully. And, it was a blessing to grow up with, with such a voice around the house singing to us, so I'm glad she can finally share it. Tara and Amanda and Lucas has been the best gift I've ever gotten. And um, having this opportunity to, to be able to share this was basically because I wanted to show them that everything is possible. But without their support and understanding, and I guess I would not have done it either. So I, I, I got the support and I feel happy to and feel confident that uh, that is uh, a good time to do this. We've been married for almost 12 years and it wasn't you know really an accident that I married a, a citizen of another country and it ended up being Chile and Chile is a fantastically art-based culture and people and I think that Lorraine and I deciding to be life partners and get involved entirely in the work of each other is the most satisfying thing that I can offer. It's really special to work with my husband. For sure without him this would not happen. <laughs> not at all. He's been the spiritual source, guidance in every single aspect of this project. He gave me about the trust and, and my talent. Putting this album together was more like a celebration of what we have experienced all these years here in San Diego. It was a celebration of so many composers and so many singers. And if I could give a window for the world to hear the music of this composer that are so great that not many people know, of course I'll do it. That was the idea, to have them there, to share this product, to share this album with every single person that I could possibly have included in this project. And it did happen. Tu 
todo este amor 